dude, that's fucking fun. Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Wacky or Jack bringing you guys a brand new video here today. So with those first couple of clips, you're actually probably questioning yourself, Wacky, how did you shoot your X50 that quickly? I need to know this right now. So this video today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to shoot your AX50, basically double the speed, how to shoot your AX50 super quickly, a lot faster than what you normally shoot it with. But before I actually get into the video, make sure you guys drop a like if this guide does help you out and also subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. It takes five seconds to do both of those and it would honestly mean the world to me if you guys could do that. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and let's get right into it. So yes, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually shoot your AX50, basically double the speed, how to shoot it really quickly. It's actually kind of simple, but also kind of complicated and it you got to get like a good rhythm to actually do this what i recommend is to actually do this on pc or with keyboard and mouse because it's actually a lot easier to uh you know hit your binds or whatever you need to do now you could do this on controller i believe but i think it's a lot harder and you really can't get the like the actual like speed down for it incoming comments pc so much easier blah, blah, blah. all right so basically what you want to do is you want to shoot and then pull out your lethal and then swap basically like i said it's kind of a rhythm thing but yeah so shoot lethal and then swap to do it slower shoot lethal swap basically now it doesn't look fast when i actually do this but when you get a good rhythm down and you do it simultaneously it gets pretty quick so here's me normally shooting with the x50 which is still pretty fast and then here's me actually doing the x50 like fast shooting method And then here's me shooting the MK2 for comparison. Now, like I said, it's even hard for me to do it. And I've actually done this a lot. And it's still hard for me to actually get a good rhythm down. But after you play a couple games and like actually doing it simultaneously, it becomes second nature, basically. So you can actually do this with other sniper rifles. But the timing is very different for each one. So the sniper rifles that you can also do this with is the HDR and also the Car 98 k as well. So there, so there it was right there. Now I'm going to normally shoot the HDR. So I guess it is a little bit faster. And like I said, the timings are a bit different for each you know, sniper rifle. So um, you really got to get a good rhythm down for this one. So that's basically about as fast as you can get it with the Car 98. Honestly, I'm not really that great with it, as you guys can tell right there. And then here's me normally shooting the Car 98 like i said it's probably just worth it honestly just to shoot it normally rather than doing the whole like you know method i was showing you guys all right so now to give you guys the class setup real quick so the ax50 i actually use um an optic which is the vlk 3.0 optic you don't even actually need an optic you could actually replace it with just using the syngard arms assassin stock i don't use a muzzle the barrel i use a 17 inch one for faster ads speed i don't use an under barrel the ammo i don't use also um but you like i said you could replace this with something else if you wanted to like if you don't want to perk or anything and the rear grip i use triple grip tape for the faster ads speed and then the laser i use the tack laser and then for the perk i actually use focus because the flinch in this game honestly sucks but like i said you could replace this with sleight of hand if you wanted to or if you don't even want a perk you could use like a stock or an ammo or whatever you want to now for the secondary you don't even really need to focus on this it doesn't really help you out or benefit you with doing this so you could just use like a secondary like an mk2 or like a smg or whatever or a pistol if you wanted to but i like to use the mk2 just because i can whip it out and get a couple kills if i and then i die or whatever for the perk i use overkill again for the mk2 but you could use eod or double time eod uh you know take reduced damage and then double time um you get faster sprint speed for the perk i actually use ghost this is so helpful it basically keeps you hidden from uavs and keeps you basically off the radar now perk three is actually required you do need amp for this because it does help with the faster weapon swap and you can't do this i'm pretty sure you can't do this without having amp for the lethal i use the throwing knife um i guess you could use the therm knight if you wanted to i haven't really tried it yet um, or I don't even think you can even do it with a Semtex, but yeah, throwing knife is just what I find easier to do it with. And with throwing knife, if you actually throw it by accident, you can try to find it and pick it up and keep going again without having to like just 
kill yourself or just use another a sniper rifle or whatever now if you accidentally throw your throw knife you could actually go pick it up and just keep on doing this um but if you use like a thermite you're basically screwed for the tactical i use stim you could use a stun to like help with you know people not shooting you if you want to but i use stim just because it gives me that you know added health basically and that's basically the class setup and like i said i've already shown you guys how to do it so go out there try to you know hit something with the x50 if you guys actually hit any clips with this uh feel free to like tag me on twitter or feel free to just let me know what you hit with it and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment section down below like i said if this video helped you out drop a like on it subscribe if you guys are new this has been your boy wacky and i'm out peace